Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing a console based banking application using Java programming language. In the last session, we discussed on how we can implement a, a create customers account functionality for the admin. So we have in, uh, we have implemented a functionality to create a new customers account for the admin. In this session, we are going to add one new functionality for the user, which is which will be a check bank balance uh, functionality. So again, as you can see, for the admin, we have added uh, first one is a logout functionality, then a create customers account functionality, and this is these are the for admin only. And then for the uh, customer, we have only logout functionality. So here we are just going to add one new functionality so that a customer can check his or her account balance. So let's see how we can implement that functionality. So first of all, let me just start the application and let me just show you what we have till now. So over here, we have to put the usernames and password. So if you just go to the user repository, then we have a couple of user accounts already created. Let me just use some valid usernames and password like this. And as you can see, we have only one functionality which is logout functionality over here. So let me just choose that functionality only. Now, if you just go to this user repository, then you will find that for this user two, we have the initial account balance as a thousand. So what we want is whatever account balance user have, we have to fetch that account balance. So let's see how we can do this. So first of all, let me just go to the main.java class. Inside the main.java, let me just add one new functionality that is a check bank balance or account balance so let me just add check bank balance something like this now over here we have to add one new case so let me just copy it and let me just paste it over here and for this let me just add as a case 2 and let me just remove this code because we don't want to make our flag flag is equal to false and let me have to remove this uh, sys out as well and now over here i just want to create one new method which will help us to fetch the balance so let me just create a new method that is private as of now let me just keep it as void as a return type in a moment we are going to uh, change the return type and let me just give the name as check bank balance and this method is going to take one argument which is nothing but a user id because obviously if you if you want to fetch the bank balance then we require the user id so let me just add one parameter over here that is user id now what we want is we want the similar method inside our user service so let me just copy this method and let me just go to the user service and let me just put it inside the user service and this time let me just make it as a public and let me just keep it as a void only and name we can just keep it as a check bank balance again it will take the user id as a uh, parameter now again from this service we are calling our repository so we need similar method inside the repository also let me just copy this syntax and let me just go to the user repository and let me just paste it over here something like this now inside these repository user repositories uh, check bank balance method we have to write some logic so that we can fetch um, the bank balance so over here what we can do is we can just either use we can for each loop so that we can um, like iterate over the users set and then we can fetch the bank balance or we can just use a normal for loop also or the latest method that we can use is a stream api so we can go with the stream api which will be a like uh, if you just go with the stream api then it will be a very very easy to uh, fetch the account balance so how we can use the stream api so what we have to do with the help of stream api first of all we have to filter a data or filter a user uh, with the help of this username so wherever username uh, will match that user we will fetch and whatever user we will receive uh, from that user we can fetch the account balance so this is the simple uh, like way of using the stream api over this user set so let's see how we can practically do this so what we have to do we have to just make it as a users users dot stream 
then we have to use a filter so filter basically take the predicate as a parameter so how we can do this we have to just uh, like let's suppose inside the filter we have to just give one variable name let's suppose user itself then we have to give a arrow and then we have to use like user dot get user name dot equals and whatever user id we have received we have to match that user id with the username something like this now this filter will filter uh, filter the users based upon their user id so at the end of the filter uh, at the end of this particular filter method we will get one single user but we have to collect it as a list because there might be a uh, like multiple uh, records uh, with the help of filter so we have to collect it as a list but at the end obviously we will get only one record inside that list because this particular username is a like unique username that is the reason we will get the list but inside that list we will be getting only one record so we have to just uh, collect it as a list something like this now let me just store it inside the list of user result is equals to like this now what we have to do we have to just check like if result dot is empty and maybe we can just put a not over here so if result is not equals to empty then what we can do like we can just use result dot get zero because anyway there will be only single record and then what we can do we can just take it as a get account balance something like this and whatever account balance we will get we will just return it as it is something like this and we have to put one else block also inside the else if uh, like if uh, there is nothing like if there is uh, no any record inside this result then maybe we can just return as a null so let me just return it as a null something like this and now we are getting some issues over here and this is why because we have the return type as a void so let me just change it to the double something like this and let me just make it as a double with the capital d which is a nothing but a wrapper class now let me just save these changes now let me just go back to the user service and over here inside the user service what we have to do we have to just call user repository dot check bank balance and then we have to pass our user id something like this and again the user repository check bank balance method will return us the double so we can just return it as it is from this method also and again we are getting one issue over here the reason is this particular return type so let me just make it as a double itself and now let me just save this class also now let me just go to the main method and inside the main method uh, inside the main class sorry inside the main class we have already created this method so uh, we have to like call our user service method we have to call this method from our uh, main class so how we can call we can just use user service dot check bank balance and we have to pass the user id and again whatever bank balance it will return we will return it as it is from our uh, this method again we are getting some issues this is due to the return type now let me just save these changes now we have at the end we have this check bank balance method in our main class so we have to call this method from our switch case so how we can call this so we can just use we have previously created uh, the main class object over here so we can just use this particular object and then we can just make it as a main main dot check bank balance and now over here we want the user id right because uh, we our check bank balance returns uh, text user id as an input so we need the user id to be passed over here but as of now we don't have an user id so what we can just do is inside the init customer method we can add one parameter which will be of type user so we can just add one parameter which will be of type user something like this and now if you just go a little bit above then you must be getting some issues on line number 28 if you just see now it is complaining that our init init customer 
need one parameter but we are not passing that parameter over here so what we can just do whatever user we will receive that user we will just pass it over here something like this now init customer will be able to access all the user details so what we can just do from this user we can just tick the username something like this and now this check bank balance is going to return us the result which is nothing but account balance so let me just uh, store it inside some variable something like this and now what we have to do we have to check like if balance not equals to null then we can just put one message like your bank balance is your bank balance is balance something like this and else if balance is equal to null then we can just put like invalid or maybe uh, check your username check your username something like this we can just put some message something like this and now let me just save these changes let me just restart the application let's see what happens and this time let me just log in with uh, maybe user 4 so let me just put it as a user 4 then user 4 again as a password then let me just give 2 as a input i just want to check the bank balance let me just put it as a 2 and now if you just see uh, we are getting one message like your bank balance is 2000 and again uh, as we have kept this logic inside the loop then once we complete one functionality then again we are getting the list of all the uh, functionalities so if you just want you can just check the bank balance again or if you just want you can just log out from the application something like this so this is how we have we can implement a check bank balance functionality for the customers so if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and we will uh, try to resolve those questions similar functionality we are going to implement for the admin also like uh, to check bank balance for uh, of the customers we are going to implement this functionality for the admin also if you just want you can just try that out and if you just get any issue you can just come back to me or else in a upcoming sessions we can see how we can implement this functionality so i hope you enjoyed this session i'll see you in the next session